gaining attention for changing one word singing the Canadian National Anthem at the NBA All-Star Game on Sunday. Instead of our home and native land, the singer chose to sing on native land, referencing Canada's colonial history. To have her sing it um, and recognize that they're on our land is, uh, it, was, it brought a smile to my face. I've heard people uh, sing, sing their version of that before, but to hear it out publicly where you know, people in North America could hear was, it was amazing actually to me to hear it like that. Another Indigenous community leader says he applauds Black's courage for using her platform to spread awareness. It triggers dialogue, dialogue around, you know, being an Indigenous leader here in Canada that, uh, you know, when are we supposed to have these conversations and dialogue around, you know, the, tr the, the, the dark truths and history with the treatment of Indigenous people, but there's not many circles at the high level in regards to having this meaningful dialogue. Oh, Canada. A Vancouver-based singer who often sings the national anthem at sports games says she was surprised by the lyric change, but it makes sense, even though it's something she's never done in a performance before. I get hired to do this job. So if it hasn't been it hasn't been changed by the organization that has hired me, then I don't feel like I can change it. However, I think that it's a positive change. And I think that if if the companies that, that hire me or the pro sports team that hire me, or, um, you know, it even goes as far as the government changing the lyrics, I will 100% support the, the change and the modification of the lyrics. Vancouverites weigh in on the lyric change and if they would want to see the official national anthem be modified. There's a fact there, but I mean, everybody's interpretation. I mean, music's art, I guess, but the national anthem, some people take it very seriously. It's a fact. We, we can't just pretend that we just appeared on this empty land and we made everything ourselves. It's not true. So why, why hide away from the truth. <laughs> I've seen worse where the Canadian flag's being flown upside down and people forget the words, but uh, um, I just take it with a grain of salt. Williams says he'll be discussing Black's actions at the next Squamish Nation Council meeting. My support would be there in regards to moving down this path of dialogue to not only awareness, but the possibility of changing um, the, the wording. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.